Hi, Endurance Sweat here with my comprehensive guide to Swift's companion app map. This guide complements the one on Swift's in-game mini-map. During this video, I'll cover all the features of the companion app map and compare the similarities and differences to the in-game mini-map. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. Here we have the Swift in-game mini-map at the top and the companion app map shown at the bottom. In both maps, your position is shown by an orange arrow on the mini-map and an orange arrow inside a white circle on the companion app. On the mini-map, you can see your current gradient in the top right-hand corner. Your current gradient is not shown on the companion app map, and neither is the current segment profile, which is shown at the bottom of the mini-map, but is not available on the companion app. The starting orientation of both the mini-map and the companion app map is such that you will always be heading toward the top of the map. However, you can change the orientation of the companion app map by tapping on the compass. When you do, the orientation of the map will change such that the top of the map is always north. And you can see on the image on the right that the compass arrow is pointing straight up. In that case, if you are riding north, the arrow that represents you on the map will be heading toward the top of the map. But if you're riding south, then the arrow that represents you will be heading toward the bottom of the map. And similarly, if you're riding east or west, then, the arrow, then your arrow will be either going left or right on the map. Just as you can change the scale of the mini map, you can change the scale of the companion app map. And you do so by tapping the circle with the plus minus signs inside. And you can go from a wide view, narrower, narrower yet, and a view from the top. In comparison, there are only three views in the mini-map. A view from the top, a view in perspective, and these are both the same, and then a wide view. You can also change the scale of the map by placing two fingers on the map and opening and closing your fingers. And you can change the position of the map by placing one finger on the map and moving it about. And then you can recenter the map on your position by tapping on this icon at the bottom. On the in-game mini-map, the location of the course start-finish line, sprints, and king of the mountain finish lines are shown by icons on the bottom of the map, directly under the segment profile. However, the companion app map does not show those locations. And on the mini map, there are banners or hoops that show you the position of the king of the mountain, sprint, and start finish lines. For example, this red and white polka dot banner on this map. However, such banners are not available on the companion app map for some strange reason. On the companion app map, if there are riders nearby that you follow, their position will be shown by an orange circle. That's the same as in the mini-map. However, in the mini-map, if there are individuals that are your favorites, their position will be shown by a star, whereas in the companion app map, their position is still shown by an orange circle. If you are watching someone else in-game, their position is shown on the mini-map by a blue arrow. On the companion app map, their position is shown by an orange bar with an eyeball in it. You can return to yourself on the companion app by tapping on the orange box at the bottom, back to me. Just as on the mini-map, the position of the ride leader or yellow beacon in group rides is shown by a yellow polygon on the companion app map. 
There was a lot to cover here, and I've gone over it fairly quickly, but hopefully my explanations have been clear enough. If this video has been helpful to you, I hope you'll click on the YouTube Like button. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel Endurance Sweat. So long for now from Endurance Sweat. Train hard and have fun. Thank you.